Oh yeah, all right. You can hear the music, you can see me. It's the Matthew Rayburn Show. Yes, I'm Matthew Rayburn. We're gonna have a great day. It's a beautiful Tuesday outside. I've been quite productive today, getting a lot of things done, getting a lot of things established. It's a brand new show. You're gonna be seeing a lot more of me. Learn to love it, folks. I'm back, yeah! Woo! You gotta dance, you gotta live life. You gotta look a little fly, you gotta be a little eccentric, you gotta be a little bit bold, you gotta be a little bit extra. Why? Because there's a lot of boring people out there, and it's quite sad in my opinion. They're not very curious. Uh, it's, it's rough. But, but what I do know is that I'm in a continuous state of betterment and a positive force for good. And I know my audience is as well. The Lord is on my side. Romans 8.31, and I'm stoked for life, baby. Let's continue to dance. Welcome to the Renewed Restoration Studios. Once again, I'm Matthew Rayburn, and I'm your host for the Matthew Rayburn Show. I'm loving life to the fullest, and I'm so thankful that you're with us. I'm so thankful that you're joining me. I'm going to be doing some uh, separate segments, some various segments, some blasting out on the other platforms. You're going to be seeing a lot more of me, and I'm really thankful for that. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for listening. Let's begin the show. you got to turn down the music, otherwise you won't be able to hear me. Oh, my goodness gracious. You doing good? Oh, my goodness gracious. I'm living life to the fullest. Once again, this is the Renewed Restoration Studio. I'm Matthew Rayburn, host of the Matthew Rayburn Show. Thank you so much for joining me live here on Instagram. I'll be posting this on Rumble and YouTube and uh, Facebook later, and then chopping it up, and then annoying people with stories and reels. It's going to be quite fun, guys. I'm so thankful. <laughs> Matthew Rayburn Show. You got to record it. You got you to have your separate segments. All right, we'll do that. Let's talk about this. We talked about that. We're going to talk about this. So I mentioned before that uh, the, the Lord is on my side. I'm a believer in the Lord Jesus Christ, and I claim for him to be my Holy Father, and I'm super thankful for that. And, uh, and I hope that you're a believer as well, and we'll have various episodes in the future about Romans Road and, and, how, to, and how to be part of God's family and, and, and how to spread the gospel and all that said. But what I really want to read something super simple that's super powerful. It's the second half of Romans 8.31. This is coming from the King James Version. If God be for us, who can be against us? No one. The answer is no one. My father's on my side. My mother's on my side. The rest of my whole family's on my side. My church is on my side. My friends are on my side. Some of the community I didn't even know was on my side. They're on my side, and I'm thankful for it. Who's also on my side? God. I'm not, I'm not afraid to claim that. I'm not afraid to say that. I'm thankful. I'm full of joy. I'm full of hope. I'm full of power and vigor and, and, and honesty and boldness. I love it. I, I, I love life, okay? And I love life because he loved me first. He's on my side. He's Yahweh Yeshua. He's the, he's the king of, of everything. He's the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the ending. I'm so, so thankful the Lord Jesus Christ is on my side. Read your Bible. If you want to know what God is trying to say to you, read his word. He's trying to talk to you. <laughs> so look, apparently he wanted to tell me today that he's on my side. And so I'm so thankful that I'm doing this show again, and I'm, and I'm being bold, and I'm being brave. You're invited to be on the show, by the way. You're invited to, uh, to celebrate life and to, and to speak about uh, bold subject matters, whatever the case may be, here on the Matthew Rayburn Show. There's no going back. So uh, I already have somewhat of an established presence here on social media, and I've claimed Christ several times. So there's no going back. I love me some Jesus. So there's no going back in the sense of this is not who I am and what I do. This is not how I like to dress. I like to dress a little different. I like to, to be a little bold. I like to be a little brash. I'm thankful for it. It's good. I'm, I'm so thankful that, uh, that, that I'm, I have the ability to, uh, to, to be here and to, to do the things that I have to do uh, with, with these tools. Because we all have these TV studios in our pocket. And I'm so thankful that uh, I get to try different camera angles and different lighting techniques, warm and soft and flush and yada, yada. And so you're going to be seeing a lot of different variations, some, maybe some filters, maybe some editing for the first time in the Matthew Rivers show's existence. And that might help out uh, when it comes to uh, timing, when it comes to speed, when it comes to my off-cuff situations, which are nice and fun. I mean, that's the whole reason about being live. Um, but, but I'm so thankful. And so there's just no way that, that I could go back. Uh, something I wanted to open this up to is, are you a local business owner? Do you would like to grow your business? Would you like to the community and others to know how you can service them and provide what you can provide for them? Want to make more money? Come on the Matthew Rayburn Show or become a sponsor of the Matthew Rayburn Show. And uh, we can discuss uh, the script. We can discuss commercials. We can discuss um, all kinds of things, what you want to be said and not said and what you want to be looked at or not looked at, whatever the case may be. Um, I've got several different sponsors of the show. Some of them want to be told about, some of them don't. But that's life. You know, they, they still want to sponsor this great project. And uh, they, they, they back me, they believe in me, and they believe in the show. And they believe in my audience. And so, so I'm so thankful that, uh, that they're here and that, and that you're watching and listening. 
And uh, so once again, I'm offering uh, commercial spaces here on the Matthew Reverend Show. We can do a segment. We can talk about your business. We can talk about how you love life and how you love the community and how your service blesses them with that uh, with you, with your service and your and, and what you do for them, whether it be construction, landscaping, dentistry, uh, tea shop, candy shop, uh, are you running for office? We, we we might not have too many politicians on because we'll probably be making fun of them. But you know, you're more than welcome to come on the show and and spread whatever you have to have to say. Uh, just don't curse and be dynamic and be listenable. And then uh, you got you got to dance too. That's part of it. So once again, if you'd like to advertise on the Matthew Irvin show, come on down. It's not it's, I'm not hard to get a hold of. Comment you know. Uh, many different social medias, Google, the name of the, sh- the my, this profile is the name of the show. Uh, call me. <laughs> that was a good segment, wasn't it? <laughs> Matt, why are you going to comment on the segment that you just did? I, I just, I do. It's a live show. It's, it's live. It is live. Renewed restoration. Call Joe Parsley at 317-339-5644 for a free estimate on your roofing, siding, or gutter replacement today. Joe Parsley is a beautiful individual and an asset to my reality. I'm so thankful that he's sponsoring the show, and I'm so thankful that he's, he's sponsoring the studio that I'm in. And I'm so thankful that uh, he's part of my life, and what he does for the community is quite ideal. Get a free estimate. Get a free inspection on any roofing, siding, or gutter damage you may have, and he's over there. He's able to replace it with a team that is second to none. Call Joe Parsley, 317-339-5644. Renewed restoration! <laughs> That's an example of the type of commercials you'll receive here on the Matthew Aaron Show. Word of the day. you got to use your words, otherwise you're going to lose your words. The English language is very important. No, really, because it's, it's vast and it's broad and it's special. And there's actually a word today that I just learned and I've never used it. I'm excited to. Um, I, I wish I would have found it in February. Uh, but let's see here. So it's uh, 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 coquetry. Coquetry is the word of the day. It's spelled C-O-Q-U-E-T-R-Y. Coquetry. It's a noun. Coquetry means a flirtatious act or attitude. Wink. (laughs) No, but seriously, let's put it in a sentence. She enjoys using Valentine's Day as an opportunity for playful gifts and coquetry. Use coquetry in your social media posts today, in your vocabulary today, in your life today. I like to practice coquetry. I, I, uh, I, I did it today at Lowe's when I was with a friend buying supplies. Um, coquetry, it goes far. Uh, I think I've gotten out of tickets because I had a lady cop and I winked at her. <laughs> Wink, don't give me a ticket. I'm trying to use coquetry on you. Wink. <laughs> Word of the day, coquetry, C-O-Q-U-E-T-R-Y. It's a noun. Use it. It's a good word. Coquetry. It's a three-syllable word. You got this. Coquetry is the word of the day. National Day. You got to celebrate life and it's easy to do so when you go to nationaldaycalendar.com. Matt, what national day is it? There's actually quite several today. So we're going to go a little fast, even though I speak fast. There's so many that we need to go fast. Otherwise, you're going to get bored. You know that attention span us Americans have. (laughs) It's real. National Do Something Good for Your Neighbor Day. Hey, neighbor, can I do something good for you? No, I'm inside the studio. They can't hear me. But do something good for your neighbor. We all have neighbors, whether they be far, whether they be near, whether they be at Culver's, whether they be at Walmart, whether they be at the red light next to us, wherever they may be, the ones at church, those are your neighbors. Do something nice for them. Ask how you can help. Ask what you can do for them today. Uh, See, National Check Your Wipers Day. You got to be safe on the road, especially when it's raining and uh, it's springtime and you're going to get those those, uh, torrential rains. They're going to have to have you pull over on the highway because you didn't celebrate National Check Your Wipers Day and you should have gotten new wipers because you didn't check them. So make sure you do use hashtag National Check Your Wipers Day in your social media posts today. International Day of Light. This is one that I do want to read. We're all aware. (laughs) International Day of Light. That's what it sounds like. Every year on May 16th, International Day of Light promotes awareness for and appreciation of light and the role it plays in science, art, education, and sustainable development. The day also recognizes the natural benefits of light as well as its many technological applications. Use hashtag International Day of Light in your social media, social media posts today, which I'll be doing for sure. Now, even though everyone knows what light is, it can be hard to define. Light is not just the opposite of darkness. 
It is electromagnetic radiation within the electromagnetic spectrum that it is perceived by the human eye. Visible light has wavelengths between 400 and 700 nanometers. Uh, see, another way to define light is a stream of photons that travel within a wave-like pattern at the speed of light. National, sorry, International Day of Light. <laughs> Day of Light! National Love a Tree Day. Do you love trees? I do. Well, I, uh, I didn't hug a tree recently, but I, I'll, hug, I'll hug a tree today. Uh, I, I, I got trees outside. I got trees outside the studio. I'll just hug them. I love trees. Trees uh, put off oxygen. They take in carbon dioxide. We give off carbon dioxide and breathe in oxygen. We are flesh. They are tree. <laughs> and it's a symbiotic relationship here on Earth. Thanks, God. You're great. You knew what you were doing. Woo! No, seriously, he does. It's great. It's, you know, kind of planned, intelligent designed. It's wonderful. <laughs> National Barbecue Day. Ah! I love barbecue. Goodness gracious. I need to check out. Who, wait, I think there might be some ribs being smoked somewhere near the studio. I did smell it, but I didn't believe it. It was one of those, like, mirage smells. Not like something I could see and didn't believe. It was something I smelled and didn't believe. National Barbecue Day. What kind of barbecue you like? Hmm? Comment down below. Really, I, I, I have trouble finding food that I don't like, but I do like vinegar-based barbecue sauces. I do like to sweat behind the ear. Um, I like to have that acid cut through the, the fatty meat, whether it be brisket, whether it be uh, pork. Uh, chicken's good, but I prefer like a sweeter, spicier sauce when it comes to chicken. Um, it's interesting. I also love uh, Carolina gold sauce. I make my own version. I called it Hoosier gold. Wink. It's delicious. Uh, who doesn't love sauces and meats and smoke and parties and love and togetherness? Come on now. Come on. Use hashtag National Barbecue Day in your social media posts today. National Piercing Day. I don't have any piercings. Uh, I don't plan on getting any piercings. Um, I would I would have a fake piercing if I was in, in a role, you know, if I was an actor. Um, but uh, no, I don't have. I, I've never had any piercings in the past. I never even uh, fake ones. Um, I've dated girls with plenty of various piercings. Um, I've I've had friends with various piercings. If you enjoy piercings, uh, you're bold. Uh, I prefer tattoos over piercings, but that's a whole other subject matter for another time. Um, I prefer the permanentness of the uh, tattoo, whereas I have that weird hole scar, fleshy, weird spot on my face from the piercing that I don't want anymore. Anyways, National Piercing Day. Get yourself pierced if you want to. I bet there's a special down at the local tattoo shop. National Piercing Day. <laughs> National Biographer's Day. I don't know if I'm ever going to do a biography. I guess I, it's, I guess I would have to be told that I should do a biography because I think it would be too haughty and uppity. It was like, you know what I should do? A biography. No, it's, that seems a bit uppity. No, but it is National Biographer's Day. If you're a biographer or need a biography written, it's a great time to start on National Biographer's Day. It's also National Mimosa Day. Uh, normally, mimosas are drank on uh, brunch, brunch time. It's pretty much 50% uh, OJ, 50% um, uh, champagne. Real simple cocktail. It's uh, served all kinds of different types of parties. Now that it's getting warmer, you're going to be seeing them a lot. They have mimosa-flavored gum, I think extra. Uh, I saw it at the grocery store the other day. Uh, but that is quite delicious. National Mimosa Day. It, it's National, sorry, International Day of Living Together in Peace. That's just great. That's just great. It, it's kind of vague and amorphous. As you, and I didn't really, I read the description, but I didn't want to bring it to my audience because it, it's kind of un -y and, and it's a little uh, global initiative and a little bit uh, uh, collective. And it, frankly, it creeps me out. But it is International Day of Living Together in Peace. That's, that's, that's always nice. That's always nice. National Sea Monkey Day. I think sea monkeys are weird. Uh, they're weird. But they're cool in the sense that they're living creatures that you can keep on the shelf and they never really go bad. They um, are a, far, a form of brine uh, shrimp. Uh, the sea monkeys, they're, they're called they're shrimp, but they're called sea monkeys because they got a little weird tail coming off of them. They're very small. Um, I think like as long as the tip of your pinky. Um, very, very small. Uh, but they all kind of swim around in a, in a ball or a bowl. And uh, there, there's different pictures of the sea monkeys. Um, they got real popular after ant farms kind of went down uh, in popularity. They got, they got real big in the 50s. Um, see, wow. And the, and the guy got real famous. Um, the sea monkeys got famous by putting these ads in comic books. And so you could grow your own farm of monkeys of the sea, a.k.a. brine shrimp. Or it's a type of brine shrimp. Ooh, this looks good. I, mean, I don't speak French, but I wish I did. But I'm going to try to say this. National 
Caquille Saint Jacques Day. Uh, Caquille Saint Jacques Day. Uh, it's a dish. So it's, it's, uh, the day celebrates this particular dish. On May 16th, we celebrate National Caqu- uh, <clears throat> Caquille uh, Saint Jacques Day. This classic French dish is a is scallops and a creamy wine sauce covered in breadcrumbs and cheese before it is browned, placed under the broiler. Delish. I wish I had a salamander in my, uh, my, my kitchen. I'll have one in my dream kitchen. A salamander is where you would normally put the microwave, but it has like this, this like click lift shelf where you, you lift up the broiler and you, uh, you, you broil. <laughs> uh, cooks uh, usually uh, make this seafood scallop dish with a mixture of butter, cream, mushrooms, and their favorite cheese. That sounds delicious. Use hashtag Coquille St. Jacques Day. I don't know. I'll try. I'll try. <laughs> and your social media posts today. You like seafood? You like cheese? You like cooking? You like ovens? Come on now. Celebrate today. We got uh, how many more? <laughs> Woo. One more. One more. We got one more. National Classic Movie Day. Um, it, 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 when I think of classic movies, I think of uh, E.T. I think of uh, um, Cons- Ca- Casablanca. I think of black and white films. I think of Audrey Hepburn. I think of um, older films. So old, old films. But what's funny about classic movie days, if I were to ask my younger cousin what's a classic movie, he would say, like, Wedding Crashers. <laughs> or he would say, uh, he, uh, it's, even if it's still older, he's still aware of it, he would like, the Hercules Disney animated film is classic. It, I guess it, it is uh, over 20 years old. I guess that would classify as classic. Classic movies help us understand the beginnings of cinematography, the old world ways. You learn a lot about how things used to be looked and how they acted. You can learn a lot from them. It's good to uh, not get rid of classic movies um, like Song of the South, zippity doo Da, that kind of situation. Know that behavior is not appropriate now, but then you could, it, was, it was around and you could learn from it today. So we don't repeat it, or whatever the, the learning lesson is from that particular movie. You can learn a lot from all kinds of movies, specifically classic movies. Use hashtag National Classic Movie Day in your social media posts today. National Day! Is e- <laughs> it's great to celebrate life, and it's easy to do so when you go to nationaldaycalendar.com. Woo! That was a bit long, folks, but that's good. That is good. You know what? After all that talking, I am quite thirsty. Oh, yeah. Our special tea dot shop. Our special tea dot shop can service all your loose leaf tea needs. Matt, what are you drinking today? Market spice blend. I was talking too much. I need to drink more tea. That's good. That's good. It's complex. Uh, it's light. It it goes from the left on the right on the tongue. It's really good. It's really good. A little mix of both black and rooibos. Market Spice makes a perfect cinnamon and orange-filled cup of tea. I'm drinking it warm slash lukewarm. Very good tea. Um, a, a little bit of uh, caffeine, not too much because the rooibos knocks it down with the herbal notes, or sorry, herbal tea leaves. It's very good tea. Go to ourspecialtea.shop and shop around. Um, and see, we're going to be doing some uh, some promos in the future, uh, promo codes and some specials. But right now, just go to ourspecialtea.shop and order you some of this beautiful loose leaf tea today. Boom, boom, boom. We did that. We did that. We did that. Oh, let's do this. Oh, my. Let's do this. Okay, let's see here. Here we go. <clears throat> In my heart there rings a melody. There rings a melody of heaven's harmony. In my heart there rings a melody. There rings a melody of love. I love that hymn. Yes, it's called In My Heart There Rings a Melody. But when you think about it, it's extremely special. It's extremely special. It's extremely important. It's powerful. It's needed. Put the joy of the Holy Spirit in your heart. Have it be there forever. Sear it to your psyche. Sear it to your heart in the sense, like brand it like, like you would a cow. So that you know that you're loved. So that you can hone in on that love. So that you can tap into that love. You're going to have some times in the future when the darkness is lying to you. And you've got to believe in that love. Because it's quite serious. Uh, it's quite serious. Comment down below. Reach out uh, if you have any uh, suggestions for hymns, your favorite hymn, your favorite song. I'll sing it. I'm, I'm a bit of a crooner. Uh, you know, <laughs> I do enjoy singing, and I, and I do enjoy letting people know how much I love Jesus because he loves them equally. 
just as much as he loves me. I love me some Jesus. So we're going to be doing some songs like that. So comment down below if you liked it. Comment down below if you didn't like it. Uh, let me know if you have a song you want me to sing. Weird news. You got to celebrate life, and it's easy to do so when you go to... I just messed that segment up. It's okay, though. Uh, I'll go to coasttocoast.com for your weird news. Weird news is, is, is weird. I love news, and I love weird things. And together, it creates one of my, my favorite segments of the Matthew Urban Show, if I can speak English correctly and clearly. Wink. <laughs> Headline. Eerie. I know I didn't want to read that. Here we go. Headline. <laughs> Strange. Strangely aggressive rabbit terrorizes Iowa neighborhood. Weird. Let's read. Residents of a neighborhood in Iowa are on edge following a series of run-ins with a strangely aggressive rabbit that has a penchant for biting people. According to a local media report, the bizarre case occurred in the community of Perry where the bad bunny, good music, uh, seemingly turned one particular street into its territory. Roman Rustin fell to victim of the pugnacious rabbit last Friday when she encountered the creature and it quickly went on the attack. Oh my goodness. Quote, it just jumps up and bites me. End quote. She recalled, quote, I was like, oh my gosh, I was just bit by a bunny. End quote. It's, it, that's what she said. The animal's bloodlust was apparently not satiated as it then pursued her neighbor, weird, <laughs> who was inside their car waiting outside the vehicle for the chance to attack and then chasing them all the way up their front door as they tried to escape. Upon reporting the incident uh, to authorities, Rustin discovered that she was not the first individual to run afoul of this devilish Lagomorph. Lagomorph is spelled L-A-G-O-M-O-R-F. Lagomorph is the scientific specimen name for rabbit. Quote, the police department says it's been a rabbit that has been around terrorizing people, end quote. She explained, cops in Perry confirmed the strange situation, saying that a 13-year-old girl had also recently been bitten by the animal. That's not good. While the youngster will be getting treated for rabies as a precautionary measure, Rustin says... She's not all that concerned about getting sick as, quote, when it bit me, I didn't see any frothing. I didn't see it frothing at the mouth, end quote. Now, I said we get checked, lady, okay? If any animal bit me, I, just, just in case, just in case, I'm going to get checked. No one wants to get rabies. <laughs> no one wants rabies. As the, as the rabbit, wildlife officials managed to snag the creature shortly after receiving the report of last Friday's attack, and it was transported to the, listen to this, guys, to the property around the community's wastewater treatment plant. You think that might have been the problem originally? What if it's mutated? What if you had a mutant evil rabbit in your department and you, and you just put it where it got mutated? <laughs> it's going to come back with a vengeance. Here we go. It remains to be seen whether the diabolical bunny will be content to stay in its new home or if it will make a return to its former stomping grounds with revenge on its mind after residents drop the dime on it. But guys, you got to be careful with those bunnies. you got to be careful with that nature. It's beautiful. It's, it's God-given, okay? It's intelligently designed. That bunny had something on its mind, okay? The bunny wasn't, wasn't playing around. Some serious business here, okay? That bad bunny. Weird news! <laughs> ooh -ah -ah. ooh -ah -ah -ah. Yeah, I'm still live on, on where am I on Instagram. <laughs> Making a fool of myself on the internet! Anyways, it's getting weirder. Uh, here we go. <clears throat> Kingdom Landscape. Austin Moxley. Call Austin Moxley with Kingdom Landscape. 317-296-3974. Uh, Austin Moxley is a great individual. He's an asset to my reality, and he will be to your yard. Landscaping and hardscaping is what he, do be he does best, and his team is second to none. Call 317-296-3974 for a free estimate today. Like I said, he's a great guy, and he'll do great work. we got this beautiful weather outside, and, and it's time to do. It's time to get your yard looking like you want it to. Hardscaping and landscaping. Call Austin Moxley, 317-296-3974. 317-296-3974. Kingdom Landscape. Mm-mm-mm. We talked about that. Talked about this. Ooh wah 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 Guys, guys, 
I gotta go. I, I got I gotta I gotta I gotta I gotta I gotta stop doing the show right now. But I'm so thankful that you were here. I'm so thankful that you're listening. I'm so thankful that we're we're here together on this journey called the Matthew Rayburn Show. If you'd like to be on the show, comment down below. Direct message me. Get a hold of me. I'm not hard to get a hold of. Let's grow your business. Let's grow your profile. Let's grow your status. Let's grow together. Let's get this positive state of mind out there, okay? I'm going to continue to stay a veteran. And you're a positive force for good. And together that creates an explosion of greatness that we will take over the internet with our love of Christ and our love of people and our love of fun. No, really. So let's dance. Let's dance one more time today on the Matthew Reverend Show. Once again, the Matthew Reverend Show will be live Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. I don't know where I'll be or what I'll be wearing, but I'll be with you, and I'm so thankful for it. Let's dance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can you hear the music? Let's get it louder. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Guys, I love you so much, and I'm so thankful. Uh, comment down below. Let's keep going, baby. Let's do this thing. Matthew Rayburn Show!